What's up guys, Sikshan here back with episode 5 of Budget Gadgets. When I say action camera, many of you would have heard the name GoPro. Action cameras are basically small digital cameras that are designed for recording videos when you are immersed in action. For say, swimming, riding, bungee jumping, surfing, etc. Will you carry your normal camera or focus on it when you are doing all these? I bet no. So these cameras are small, light in weight and wearable and most of all ruggedized and waterproof that you can attach or wear and forget it's there recording all the action you guys have been doing. Now most action cameras are very expensive 20k, 30k. However, I was searching for an inexpensive budget option and stumbled upon a Chinese product called the Aiken H9R action camera which costed me just $1.50 that's approximately 3500 Indian rupees and I was like what 3500 Indian rupees this definitely has to be on budget gadgets so here it is and I got it from bango.com let's quickly open the box to check what we get and I'll tell you more about it here is the box the camera comes in multiple colors but I choose the black lot of stuff in here hoo hoo we have the camera itself in a nice waterproof casing which you can remove. We get a lot of mounts depending on use, straps, protective back door, clip, Wi-Fi remote, a stick-on mount, more mounts, handlebar mount, another mount, a skeleton holder where you can attach the cam and mount it on a tripod or with this back clip you can wear it more straps a usb cable for transferring and charging though it was supposed to come with a charger adapter my seller missed to ship it out sad more mounts tethers a cleaning cloth and you get manuals which explain what is what i will leave a card for the manual so that's about the box Here is the H9R budget action camera. The body is plastic and has a nice rubber feel to it. If you have seen a GoPro before, you will say it's a knockoff of that. <laughs> the camera is well built. Front we have the lens with a LED light which glows while charging and the power button which is also used to switch between modes. Top we have the red light indicator which flashes while recording and the record button. Back we have the 2 inch display. On the right side we have a navigation button to scroll through settings. Left we have one micro SD slot, one mini HDMI slot and the micro SD card slot. We also have the microphone. Bottom we have the battery compartment. Now this camera can record videos max 4K at 25 frames per second. However, however, it can do full HD video at 60 frames per second which is pretty good in my opinion more than what you would need. I would recommend using 1080p 60fps option to shoot on this camera. I will be showing you some samples. Shooting modes available are video, photos, burst mode and time lapse. Time lapse however is not video, it takes photos at set intervals which you need to combine later using an editor. Coming to the view, it has an extremely wide 170 degrees lens which is cool. Comes with a 1050mAh battery with record time of approximately 1 hour and it is waterproof up to 30 meters but before you take it underwater make sure the camera is fixed properly inside the waterproof case provided and locked properly the remote works pretty well and does not need any special configuration all you need to do is turn on the camera and if you want to record video press the video button here and it starts recording the video to stop again press the video button and it stops to take a photo press the photo button on the remote and there you go it starts taking pictures. It's that simple. Also, you can wear the remote as a wristwatch using the strap that's in the box. You can also control the camera using the EasyCam app, which you will have to download from the Android or iOS store. Pretty handy. Here are some samples shot on this camera, unedited.
Guys, currently I'm at Elliot's Beach, uh, taking some sample shots for you guys. The weather is really good, cloudy. It's like it's going to rain, but at the same time it's also sunny. So overall, I'm very impressed with this budget-friendly action camera. Does what it commits and for sure a worthy buy for 3,500 rupees. If you are on a tight budget and want something for casual use, this is something you can definitely consider. I will leave the Best Buy link in the description below. The only drawback you know that might bother many is that it does not come with warranty because it's imported. So if that does not bother you, go ahead. So hope you found this episode of Budget Gadgets helpful. If you have any questions, do post them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and guys, don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free and helps you get notified whenever I bring in more budget stuff on Budget Gadgets. So what are you waiting for? I'll catch you in the next episode.